Who want one last trip to the long trail? Right now, players are giving their feedback, the things that they like, the things that they did not like about the Tekken 8 closed beta test. And in this video, I just wanna look at some of these ideas from everyone and just see, are they good points or are these like something that the developers should ignore? And before we jump into everyone else's, I think I should just give my own real briefly. One, I do not like the heat and rage combination. Heat is all about aggression. You pressure your opponent, corner them, shut them down, right? That's what Tekken 8 has been pushing us for the whole entire year but then rage is the opposite you can't be aggressive you can't pressure someone when they're throwing out a rage art that does 50 40 percent of your health rage just completely destroys all sense of aggression and whenever one person gets into rage the match just slows down to a crawl so i don't like that i don't know how they should fix it i would say limit it to one use per match kind of like the fatal blow in mortal kombat 1 but hey it probably won't change you know comeback mechanics is here to stay. The second thing that I would ask for the developers to implement is the ability to directly challenge someone to a match. Like if you're in a Tekken lounge, you can challenge someone's ghost, but you can't challenge them directly. It's a no brainer, yet they don't have it as a feature. Trying to sync up with someone in ghost match is just unnecessarily difficult. So that's my two rail complaints. Let's move on to everyone else's. I didn't mind the game exploding everywhere, but the toned down visuals make the effects visual clarity a lot better. This is also something that's really so everyone was really talking about all oh, the heat system, the burst, yada, yada, yada. I want to know you guys' uh, ideas in the comment section. Did you find it, you know, excruciating, playing the game hard to follow? Like there is sometimes where a character does something and you cannot tell what's going on. But for the majority of the time, I really do not notice it and I can see perfectly through it. Here's something that I've seen a lot of people talk about. There's a lot of moves that gel that look really dumb like Azuzina's down forward 1-4. So basically what a gel is, I, this is something that I've um, been hearing a lot and I had to learn the term. Gel is basically, let's say like a mid-high or something like that, right? A mid-high, you block the mid and you should be able to crouch the high. But the mid forces you to keep standing so you also have to block the high as well. That is gelling when you can't crouch under the following high. Now, the reason why this is bad is because when you're fighting against opponent and they're doing something that's predictable, you want to be able to uh, exploit that. You know, they do a mid high, you want to go under that high, launch them. But you can't really do that in a lot of situations in Tekken 8. And I think that is one allowing for this overwhelming pressure, which is why people were panicking and using the rage art. If we go back to that, right, you really can't do anything because the game is forcing you to keep standing keep eating this pressure so you have to rage heat activate the game is forcing you to panic when you're able to crouch under these things not only does that give more ability for the matches to be dynamic but also it takes that sense of the opponent just has to sit there and wait for me to make a mistake then they can play the game i think that's something that i see a lot of people talking about and it is a very good point one thing that i do think is ridiculous i don't know who this person is this person could be trolling but uh their per their, their name is i Ali the nose and they say uh, feedback to Michael Murray remove the entire heat system and bring back real Tekken that's not gonna happen but I get the sentiment they also say bring back Heiachi multiple different times this is something like once again you know I get that certain people miss their characters and you know I experienced that so much you know I was playing all of these characters that I'm not familiar with that I'm trying to learn I was fighting people who were playing their main characters and I was getting so close to winning and I couldn't help but think if you Yoshimitsu was playable in this beta, I would be destroying this guy. So I get it, that sense of like, if my character was here, oh my God. Maybe if enough people say bring back Heiachi, maybe they'll do it. Never say never like that Justin Bieber song. Michael Murray says, I also love to see your opinion, so feel free to send them away. Markman responds to this and says, I would like to bring up a list of people in the lounge and be able to play their ghost from that list instead of trying to find them in the lounge. So once again, you know, you join the same lounge as someone and you want to be able to connect with that person immediately instead of like running around and trying to find them. I will say the fast travel feature, you got to use that. The fast travel feature is 
excellent and it and it loads instantly and it helps you get around the match really fast omega mishima i recognize this person it says the game basically is perfect just wish the heat wasn't so strong on asuka and raven is all also please buff kazia i think it's interesting that a lot of people have a issue with the heat system i wonder if the developers will continue to change it they already nerfed it a lot just going off of memory, it went through probably like three or four major changes this year and players are still not satisfied with it. So how much do you continue to change it or reduce it or I don't know, players just don't like it. Now this is where we get into just random people's opinions, but I love that, you know, I'm just a random person, you know, so if people will listen to my opinion, I will listen to theirs. I am interested on which actions you will take to fight cheaters online. People saving their ranks and people using sophisticated cheat engines. This is also a very big question because you know Tekken 7 was plagued by this. In the beta test, there was one person, a Claudio main, who plugged on me and I was not rewarded to win, the match simply ended the same way it does in Tekken 7. And to me, that confirms that plugging still exists. There is no quitalities like it does in Mortal Kombat uh, 1. And it's very shocking because I thought this was something that they would address. And then also, I don't know what they mean by people saving their ranks. I don't know if like you're saving your ranks from the closed network test and that's transferring over to the beta test and then also to the full release of the game i don't know why people would want to do that anyways but once again things that happened in tekken 7 that appears to be recycling in tekken 8. fergus says thank you for taking the time to read these infinite rematches wow a lot of people saying that maybe tone down the heat bursts it feels too free to do remove the armor maybe I also agree with this heat burst, bro. I've been saying this, bro. The heat, you freeze your opponent. Like your opponent is doing whatever they're doing, right? You can press that button and then boom, freeze. And then I get a free hit. And then there's also this armor effect. Like it, heat is really cheap. It's a perfect like with punish. It gives free pressure, 50-50s. It's like super cheap. The fact that so many players are talking about it is evidence of that. I get they want the game to be simple. They get they want the game to be easy. They want everyone to be able to do everything. But you can just see how widespread people are complaining about it that it it's not you're doing too much basically. You're simplifying the game way too much and it's hurting the whole experience. Tekken 8 is amazing, but looking at all of these responses you would think that it's not because it's like players are just all experiencing the same thing we may be describing it or saying it differently but we're experiencing the same thing these mechanics is very like busted it's changing the way you play tekken really it's really changed altering the way you play tekken this person goes into details about the movement backdash feels not good enough yet however it feels better than cnt needs another change until the full game releases otherwise there will be um too much brawl close up sidewalk and sidestep are good uh but certain characters profit too much like lily i do agree i think lily's sidestep is far too much i don't know why her sidestep is just busted like that there's been certain instances where i would do like a simple attack and lily would step and end up all the way behind me that on a simple attack it's just ridiculous i think they need to tone down her sidestepping a little bit a little bit you know i always disagree when people say buff back dashing you know i'm a a aggressive player i like a lot of this moving left moving right with yoshimitsu i do a lot of spinning in both directions i really want to see how his spinning works because if the sidestep is buffed what what will his spin be but the back dashing being buffed i think we'll run into the same issue that tekken 7 had where players utilize the back dashing so much and it stalls the game every match is decided by the timer i don't know if i'm the only one who thinks this is a problem what do you guys think in a tournament players are back dashing and that's stalling the match and then the match always counts down 10 9 8 and then that is what forces someone to just wildly attack the other opponent because the timer is counted down i don't know if i'm the only one who feels like that is not how tekken should operate the timer should not be forcing the people to fight because they're both back dashing i get why the developers did what they did but i also get why players want what they want 
and I do not know a solution. Blasted Salami says, uh, Tekken 8 is a lot of fun and I mostly like the system changes. Not sure about the armored on heat burst though. I don't think I mentioned netcode, but there's a lot of people talking about the netcode. The netcode still isn't up to par with its competitors though. It feels unstable even under optimal conditions. Hopefully it improves before release. I really think that I am a scrub when it comes to netcode because I, of course I see like lag here and there and you know, I kind of don't really pay it no mind. But the fact that so many people are like, the netcode sucks, it sucks, it sucks. Like for me, bro, I guess I just really don't mind it. I guess I really just don't care. Um, there was people who was walking in like, does the netcode suck for you guys? And I was like, I don't know, you know, I'm just sitting here butt mashing. High buff gigas. I like technique balance overall except two things. Instant while running moves shouldn't have an easy input. Some characters become too powerful with this change. Counter hit throws should have normal break window. Now it's almost impossible to break on reaction when you get counter hit throws. It's weird because throws online destroys everyone, but then throws in tournaments, you see people break it all the time. It's rare when someone doesn't break a throw. So I get they added the counter hit property for the tournament scene. So now you can't just break it instantly, but it does also affect online as well. So I don't know how they would balance the two. That's really what's difficult, bro. Balancing between online and tournaments is near impossible because both players have a different level of experience and different demands. But talking about the instant while running moves shouldn't have easy inputs. I disagree with this. I like the way that it was now. Being able to do it up close in people's face, instant, you know, boom, shoulder charge with Jack. I like that. You know, I was a Jack main and I was fully taking advantage of this. Now, I don't know if I was doing too much and if I'm a part of the problem, but I like where it is. It just allows you to play really aggressive. You know, I am just aggressive to the core and just being able to just forward, forward, forward on command like that. Oh my God, bro. I'm starting to smile just thinking about how I was just bullying people with Jack 8. I was really bullying people with the shoulder, bro. Okay. VDX. VDX says, I spent a lot of time thinking about this. I would be willing to accept every design choice going forward if I could move freely and fluidly. KDB improvement and forward dash canceling would be great. I will adapt to everything else. You guys have to tell me if, uh, if I'm getting this right. Forward dash canceling. That, to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, is when you dash forward, you cancel the dash and you start blocking again. What I experienced in Tekken 8 is you try to dash up at a opponent just to make them press a button, do something, and then you try to cancel it and block again. You could do it in Tekken 7, right? Dash up in their face and stop and block. In Tekken 8, I was getting hit so many times because the block was not activating in time. So I don't know if that's what FDX is saying here, but that's something that I definitely noticed. I also think that's something the developers should look at. There's certain things they changed about Tekken 8 that is like weird, but also too, okay, so look, final thing I will say. I see a lot of changes that people are requesting that would make the game feel a lot more like Tekken 7, like, oh, this is that, oh, the heat system, oh, backdash, you know, whatever, right? They want it to feel like Tekken 7, but then players also make fun of Tekken 8 for feeling like Tekken 7. It's it's weird how, like, we want changes. Tekken 7's dope, bro. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and bye-bye.